Hey students, this is episode five of Hey Students. It's Mr. Vought, it's the first day of school for teachers. I'm actually leaving right now to go to the school. Look, it's dark outside. Sun's starting to come up. This is the time of day that I like to go. Nice and early in the morning. I woke up at five this morning and here I am. I'm about to go to teacher meetings and stuff. I like to, I like to get up early in the morning so that I can get some stuff done before school starts, before you guys get to campus or before I have meetings. Just because it helps me just to check emails and get stuff done before school starts. It helps me to kind of clear my mind and get ready for the day. So today we're gonna look at some silly pictures of me when I was a kid and maybe even your age. That'll be fun and embarrassing, I'm sure. I'm gonna show you our classroom and kind of talk a little bit about some of the stuff we're doing to get ready for you guys to come to school. I'm excited to have you guys come. We're making a lot of changes and you're gonna find out about those. I'm excited. I'm excited to have you guys around. It's really important that you guys follow the directions and the new rules and guidelines that we're putting in the school. We're trying to keep everyone safe and a lot of people, I'm sure you guys too, are worried about how things are gonna work. Just be calm, do your best. Everything will be okay. Things are gonna be very different, but I think it'll be exciting. It'll be different. Sometimes different is scary. Sometimes different is interesting. I'm bringing pizza, leftover pizza. Mm, I love pizza. I talk about food a lot, don't I? So anyway, here I am at the classroom. Let's take a look at some of the stuff that we're doing. Okay. Ooh. This matches my apron. It's made out of the same fabric. Star Wars. So here's what the classroom looks like now. Um, I put on this tape to mark how far six feet is. So the chairs are in the middle, so these chairs are six feet apart. So now when you come into the orchestra room and you sit down, it's gonna be weird because we're gonna be spread out, but just trying to keep everyone safe. Over here, we have the locker room. And with all of the school instruments, they have cases now. I'm gonna ask that if you're bringing your personal violin or viola that you own, or if you're using a school-owned violin or viola, that after that on the the day that we're done that you take it home and you don't bring it back until next time please don't leave it at school because we need to have room for other people to put theirs here we're going to try to not share lockers so that everyone can have their own little cubby we'll see if that works i don't know if it's going to work it's only going to work if you guys take your instruments home please take them home and that way you can practice okay so i thought it'd be fun to look at some pictures of when i was a little kid and in college and, and later as a teacher. Just fun pictures that, I mean, I think they're fun. So uh, let's start with some pictures of when I was a baby. Here's me, oh, I'm so cute, I love this picture. Shoving my face full of spaghetti. Mmm, spaghetti. Here's me with my little cabbage patch. <laughs> with my Cabbage Patch doll. His name was Scott. He was cool. I got him when I was five for Christmas. Santa Claus brought him specifically for me because I wanted a Scott Cabbage Patch doll. Here's me right here, just looking really cool. This is so 90s, look at this. This was probably, I don't know, 1992 or something. We were in front of this pirate ship, so I was going, yarr, because we're pirates. Look at that coat, oh my gosh. Also around the same time with this, <laughs> with this clown. Back then, I don't know. I've never been afraid of clowns. I, I know it's a thing to like be afraid of clowns. When I was a kid, I thought clowns were funny and I wanted to be one because they were just always so fun. Um, here's me with Weird Al Yankovic, woo! I went to a Weird Al Yankovic concert when I was like nine, got his autograph on a hat. Here's me in middle school holding my younger sister. I used to wear plaid shirts with striped shirts underneath. And I did it because people said not to. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do it. So I made it a thing and I was a weird kid. Here's me in high school looking pretty sharp with my choir tuxedo. I did choir in high school. But look at that hair. Oh man, what a sharp dress, dude. Here's me at an assembly in high school playing my sousaphone and singing. That was a thing that happened. I was dressed like Kenny Chesney, who's a, who is a country singer. Ah, uh, those were fun times. So I lived in Argentina for two years as a missionary. So here are a couple of pictures of that time because it was really cool and loved speaking Spanish. Here's me just waving to the camera like a little goober. Argentina was a beautiful country and I love the food. Oh, so good. And the people there are awesome. They have a personality 
that is fun. And we were helping to build a roof and we just volunteered. We were just walking around. So we're in our dress clothes and everything. And we we're like, do you want some help? They're like, okay. And asado, which is like a barbecue and there is nothing like it. Oh, let's look at all that meat. Ah, we were barbecuing a pig and I had my guitar and we were playing chickens. And yeah, there's me with my Argentine jersey and the flag. I was trying to look really cool in that picture. Okay, these next ones are from College BYU. So here's me with a nice tuba. I miss that tuba. Oh, I just like this picture. I don't know why it's silly, but I just like that picture. Um, this is when I was in a mariachi band. I was playing a vihuela, which is this little guitar. And here's Mr. Smith playing the guitarron. Here's me just being a goober, just like, hey, hey. This picture is one of my favorites. This is uh, Lavelle Edwards and me. So if you know anything about the history of BYU football, um, there was a coach that the stadium is named after Lavelle Edwards and he came to visit and he wanted to hold my sousaphone. So I was like, here you go, let's take a picture. He was cool, that was fun. Look at how thin I was. Uh, this is the top of Mount Timpanogos. So my friends and I, we climbed Mount Timpanogos a few times, but this time I brought my guitar with me because I wanted to play as we watched the sunrise. Here's Mr. Werner and me in college wearing purple. That puppet was our tuba section mascot that year. <laughs> Uh, here's Mr. Smith and me. Um, we randomly wore the opposite colors. Here's me at the top of, I think this was Squaw Peak, at the top of that mountain. That was fun. So these pictures were from after I graduated and I was a teacher. This is me and my new car. I chose this picture because I just missed the way I used to dress back when I wasn't a chubby. Here's me on the first day of school. This is my first day of teaching in the morning before I left. Me eating sushi. I love sushi, some of my favorite food. Here's my tuba and R2D2. This was at the premiere of Force Awaken. This last section were uh, costumes that I wore for Halloween. This is me as Snape, Gilderoy Lockhart, and my friend was the Whomping Willow. <laughs> me and my sister, we were Frank and Alice Longbottom. Here's the Phantom of the Opera Penguin <laughs> from Batman. Draco Malfoy, Frankenstein one year, but I guess this weird version of him. Gandalf from the Lord of the Rings. Mad-Eye Moody. Here's my wife and I. This was before The Force Awakens came out. She's Rey and I am Kylo Ren. The Sid from Toy Story. So I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> that was weird and some of those pictures were embarrassing, but that was fun. We are going to Cafe Rio. <laughs> I love this place. Woo! And oh, this is the best stuff ever. So good. I bet you guys are jealous of me now, huh? Yes. My wife and I are here right now. We haven't been to a restaurant, I think, this whole time. We decided to dine in today. Cafe Rio, baby! All right, it's Mr. Tsai! Hey! Tsai hey. Lao Shu! Tsai Lao Shu! Anyway, uh, this that's the end of Hey Student. We're excited for you guys to come to school next week. Um, yeah, be nice. Do you have any advice? Um, drink more waters. Drink. Don't touch other people. That's good that advice. Oh, no, don't no. touch me. <laughs> all right, we'll catch you on the flippity flip.